هذه النوم شبيه من مسارية. Learning about landmines before setting off for home. Iraqi refugees in Iran need to be prepared for the many dangers that await them. Most of these men fled to Iran after the failed uprising against Saddam Hussein at the end of the Gulf War. The place I come from was completely destroyed by Saddam Hussein. All the farms and buildings in that area. Nothing's left except ditches and lumps of soil. It's not fit for any living creatures. The United Nations gives each person $20 on departure, a tiny sum to help rebuild their past. The UN doesn't actively encourage repatriation because of the poor security situation in Iraq. But it's had to step in because so many families rush back home of their own accord. They board the bus for Basra in southern Iraq. For decades, refugees had no contact across the border. Now it's only a 90-minute journey to be reunited with lost relatives. Mohammed Hussein Mayahi is hoping the elections in Iraq will bring back rule of law. As the convoy enters Iraq at the border, the refugees leave behind the long years of exile. And left behind are those refugees who chose to stay put and see what happens in Iraq. For the Marsh Arabs who fled to Iran, there's nothing left of their old life. Saddam Hussein deliberately drained their lands of water. Like Jamila, who spent more than half her life in this camp, running a small store. Since we don't have a house or any belongings in Iraq, it's better to stay here, where we have an income at least. But I don't know about the future. Since the fall of Saddam Hussein, nearly 100,000 refugees have gone back to Iraq, in the process dismantling camps like this, taking with them everything from roofs to door frames and even electricity cables. It's hard to see now, but conditions were good in these camps. A shared religion and a shared enemy in Saddam Hussein meant Iraqi refugees were genuinely welcomed in Iran. But now they've decided to abandon everything to stake their claim to the new Iraq. Francis Harrison, BBC News in southwestern Iran.